The man of genius is he who understands incomparably more other beings than the average man. Goethe is said to have said of himself that there was no vice or crime of which he could not trace the tendency in himself and that, at some period of his life, he could not have understood fully. The genius, therefore, is a more complicated, more richly endowed, more varied man. And a man is the closer to being a genius, the more men he has in his personality. And the more really and strongly he has these others within him. If comprehension of those about him only flickers in him like a poor candle, then he is unable, like the great poet, to kindle a mighty flame in his heroes, to give distinction and character to his creations. The ideal of an artistic genius is to live in all men, to lose himself in all men, to reveal himself in multitudes. And so also the aim of the philosopher is to discover all others in himself, to fuse them into a unit which is his own unit. The eye of the genius, accordingly, is simply itself universal comprehension, the centre of infinite space. The great man contains the whole universe within himself. Genius is the living microcosm. He is not an intricate mosaic, a chemical combination of an infinite number of elements. He is everything. In him and through him, all psychical manifestations cohere and are real experiences, not an elaborate piecework, a whole put together from parts in the fashion of science. For the genius, the I is the all, lives as the all. The genius sees nature and all existences as whole. The relations of things flash on him intuitively. He has not to build bridges of stones between them. The age does not create the genius it requires. The genius is not the product of his age, is not to be explained by it, and we do him no honour if we attempt to account for him by it. And as the causes of its appearance do not lie in any one age, so also the consequences are not limited by time. The achievements of genius live forever, and time cannot change them. By his works, a man of genius is granted immortality on the earth, and thus in a threefold manner he has transcended time. His universal comprehension and memory forbid the annihilation of his experiences with the passing of the moment in which each occurred. His birth is independent of his age, and his work never dies. Universality is the distinguishing mark of genius. There's no such thing as a special genius, a genius for mathematics or for music or even for chess, but only a universal genius. The genius is a man who knows everything without having learned it. <laughs>